the season to all of my subscribers, Stylish Niger subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. So welcome to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys for following me on YouTube, on all of my other social media handles. I appreciate you guys a lot. So if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, if this is your first time, I would appreciate if you would do that. So guys, today... I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, this trendy um, Canadian and uh, smoking design. So I've been getting lots of, um, um, what do you call it, requests about this design. You know, because of the season, everyone is rushing and then we're trying to put one or two things and together as designers. So um, that is why I'm going to be showing you this design. So I, I hope it, it comes at the very as at the right time for you because you could use it for a sleeve so for this i'm going to be showing you how to do the designs today i'm showing you how to do two designs two patterns and then in our upcoming subsequent classes we're going to i'm going to be showing you how to make sleeves with them so the first thing is for you to know how to do it so once you know how to do it it will be easy you can so i'll give you the basic measurement that you will use that will make it really easy for you so let's um, get started. So the first um, one I'm making to I'm making the basket um, design, the basket weave design, and then the bones design. So I have a two um, piece of fabric already laid out here, which I'm going to be making use of for these um, patterns. So I'm going to show you how to achieve this. So this and uh, this first one, this is the um, basket, and then this is the bones. This, so I'm going to start with the bones. I like um, the bones is kind of cool. Both of them are cool, really. So I'm going to be starting with the bones and design, and it's really simple and easy to achieve. So you could see the picture of the sleeve up there. That is like a bone. <coughs> Excuse me. That is like a bone and pattern. So I have my uh, sleeve and patterns here. So if you are if you are going to if you want to make this kind of sleeve, for instance, if you want to make it on a round sleeve like this, the measurement that you are going to use is really simple. You are going to um, times your measurement into three. That's you are going to to make it into three places. So for instance, now for this kind of sleeve, now here is what you are going to do. You are going to use and um, this length of fabric. This is eighteen. So you are going to do eighteen three times. And then the the length like this, that's the width, sorry. And then the length, this is 10 inches. So I'm going to make the down part of this sleeve, I'm going to make it to up to like 30 inches. So you see what I have. I'm going to make it as long as 30 inches, that's the length. And then the width, I'm going to make it 18 inches into three places. So with that, when I finish smoking, I'm not going to have any problem. So you smoke it, I advise you smoke it on a straight and fabric first. That's the square fabric. Before you now cut out your sleeve pattern and then place on it to cut out. So the same thing goes for your long sleeve. The same thing goes for your off shoulder and sleeve. So the patterns that I'm going to be um, doing this morning, so okay, that I'm going to be doing now. So this is uh, like the bones and patterns. So for the bones, I'm making use of, um, because the bones pattern, you see it's kind of long. So I'm making use of two inches. That's two inches. I've made out um, boxes of two inches. So you could see it as a complete square of two inches. That's what I'm going to be using for the bones and pattern. So for this bones pattern, you need um, uh, plenty of fabric, more fabric even than usual. So when you use the measurement that I just gave you to do it, to add, after cutting out your sleeve, you are going to have a little excess. So it will be okay for you. So this is uh, like the pattern already. So I'm just going to do like a quick... Um, I'm using uh, my marker pen to mark it out so you will see it easily on this so you see this is like the <clears throat> the bones pattern it's just like you're slanting all of them to the right hand side and then leaving the middle and boxes empty you understand so you you do one you jump on you do one you jump on you do one you jump on and then skipping one one in between also so that's just like the bone pattern. So in starting, so this is just like my, my startup line. This is like the edges of my, my fabric. So what you are going to do, you are just going to come to this first one. This is like the first <coughs> box. We are slanting everything towards the right hand side. So you are just going to slant this like this. 
you're going to slant one like this and then you once you slant it you skip the second one and then slant this so at the end of the day this next roll you are going to leave it you are not putting anything on it for the bones pattern and then you are going to come to this next row so we're starting on the same and straight and line you are just going to place it you are just going to mark it like this you skip this uh, one also you understand and then you do this so guys so you see so in making this fabric i'm making use of a satin a thick satin so it's and and then it's it usually brings out the pattern and properly so we're done marking so like i said so you're just going to leave one roll you do one row, leave one column, do one row, do leave one column. So it's really simple. And so the next thing you are going to do, you are going to take a matching and thread. So, and then we are going to start and stitching. So here's what you are going to do. You are going to start. So I'm just going to bring it as close as possible to my camera. So I'm just going to take this point like this. And then from this point, you are just going to take this one click another edge of the sleeve of the pattern like this so you bring them together like this and then you you take this like this and then bring it in like this you understand you just bring it in and then you stitch You stitch it together so you can then do this make sure it is very tight and firm so that's just like the essence and then you we are going to continue so you can decide to go however you want to but you can decide to just do it straight straight and then you pick the second one like this You just make sure you tie it, let it be strong. And then you take the second point like this. So that's why you need to use a thread that is very matching. So it actually helps. So you see, it brings it together like this. And then when you bring it together, you're just going to hold, hold the boat up edge like this together. And then you knot it. So I always like I'm doing this kind of twist to tie my thread. So you can do it two times. You can decide to do it two times as that's uh, what I mean by doing it two times. That's not it two times. That's the time. And then we'll continue. I'm just going to do them straight, straight. So I'm going to go over. So I'm done with the first um, line. So I'll go over to the second line. So you tie it, you tie it, let it be tight. Okay guys, so this is the last one, so I'm going to cut it out now. So here is what we have. Oh my goodness! So this is so beautiful. So you could see what we have. So this is like and uh, this is the bones design. So you know I actually used them two inches. So you find that you find that that the smoking is a little bit and um, big. So uh, if you want to make uh, like a balloon sleeve, so I advise you could use uh, like and uh, this to two inches. But if you want to make like a pencil slip that is not really and too big, you can you make use of 1.5 inches or even one inch. It's just that when you make use when when you make uh, use of about one inch, you are going to sweat smoking that that uh, sleeve. So, but if you know you have the patience and the energy, you can use one one inch. It will still be perfect. But me, I like and uh, these two inches because it will make me to uh, it will make the job fast. That's just it. You know, uh, we like uh, something that is fast and then you still have the results. 
so and so so this is how the back looks like and then here is the front so i'm just going to keep this on the side so i really like and what how this came out so with this now you can transform it into your sleeve so this is my off shoulder sleeve so just imagine i just place it like this if if i was um, making this off shoulder sleeve now i'm just going to place it however i want to place it i'll place it so i'm going to because of the the quantity of fabric so i'll have double i'll just place it on it like this one once i'm done you can place it on this uh, side and then you cut even this i can use this and uh, for this uh, my off shoulder sleeve it will even be almost like enough so this here is just what i'm going to do i'm just going to try to uh how i'm going to adjust it and properly and then because it is smoke I could really use this so you are just going to place it like this and then you cut out your sleeve and pattern from it so we're done with and um, the bones design which are uh, really came out so beautifully well so I like it so the next um, pattern we're going to do now is the basket and weave and pattern so for this and um, basket and, and weave pattern I'm going to be making use of 1.5 inches um, um i'm going to be making use of 1.5 inches so this is like the the basket and pattern so i'm just going to mark it out for you to make it really and easy so i'm trying to find my ruler so this is uh so I'm, i i marked my box you know and for this um bones bones i actually used on uh, two inches but for the basket with i'm making use of 1.5 inches so uh, for your first row here is just what you are just going to be marking just like this you see and you know the bones everything came towards the right hand side but for the basket we're going to be going you know it's basket now it's just like zigzag so the first row you, you are still leaving your space for all canadian smoking you leave space you come here you leave the first space and then you come to the second one like this and then so i'm just doing it on the pattern paper so uh, so it will be easy for you to see clearly so you come here and then for the other row come back to like this again you understand we'll come back to like this again and then start slanting it like this again leaving your one one um, um box just leaving your boxes apart and then this way they will come back to the other side again and then start doing that so i'm just going to do leave this and then let's uh, do it um, on our fabric so it will be easy for us. So like I said, use your uh, measurement of your sleeve three times. Uh, that's the fabric. So for this um, row, now what we are going to do now, I'm just trying to place it um, properly. So I'm just going to leave and out this first two row. So just uh, so I'll use it as my edges. So I'm going to come here like this. I'm going to mark to this point like this. I'll leave this next row. I'll mark like this. I'll leave that row. Mark. So I'll come um, back to the next row. So for the next row, for this, you know the other one, we we'll skip this row. For this, we're not skipping this row. You're just going to come like this to this and next row. You leave this one and then you mark this second row like this. And then you leave this, you mark this. So that's how we're just going to do it zigzag, zigzag, zigzag until we're done. Okay, so you see I finished, I'm marking. So we're just going to follow the same um, process that we did um, with the bones and pattern. So it's really simple. So the basic thing is just getting the pattern out. So you're just going to come to this point like this. And then you pick one part of this um, point. And then you tie it. And then you pick another part from here. And then you pull it together like this. And then you hold together like this and then you tie you tie So I'm just going to repeat and the whole process and then show you how it's going to look like at the end of the day. So you are just going to um, continue it like this. You are just going to continue it all through until you are done. So I'm going to show you the back of um, my own now. 
so it came out and beautifully wet so this was what i was talking about so you could see the basket weave so you see the the, the weaves so you can see it it came out and beautifully wet that was what i was saying about and this and bones and pattern you see that the bones pattern are a little bit big because i used at two inches but see and this uh, the basket and pattern that i used at 1.5 so 1.5 is just like very ideal for this but the problem is patience like i said you just have to have patience to do this so guys i've come to the end of and this and video illustration so if you find this and uh, canadian uh, trendy canadian smoking and sleeve and design helpful i will appreciate if you would and subscribe to my channel so thank you so much guys so i'll see you in my next video bye, bye.